Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we are playing like a anti-aggro mono white control deck. I, this thing is just slows the game down, keeps any creatures out of the way, and allows you to materialize a faithbound judge and all the horror that comes with that. Does that sound interesting to you? If so, stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host. Watch me on Caught on Tape 3 for what I did to the coffee pot. Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. Film before live studio audience. Thank you so much. Yukon Socket. Word to your mama. So I am broadcasting to you today from my secret above ground headquarters. Won't be for much longer. And I'm bringing to a deck I found over at Magic GG off the Platinum Mythic list. It does not have a name, so I called it Mono White Exile. Because we're doing a lot of exiling. A lot. And uh, it's just a crazy little deck that uh, I just... You know, I was like normally I wouldn't want to play a deck like this. I just the fact that we're just going to pin people down, it's almost as bad as just countering people all the time. But uh I thought, you know what? I got to try it. I just got to try it out, see if I like the way it feels. And you know what? I do. I just like rubbing it all over myself like marmalade. Just globbing it on, getting it all in the chest hair, just rubbing it in. So uh yeah, I guess what's good for the goose is not good for the gander because I'm playing control today. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the cards that are in this deck. Oh, let's talk about... Yeah, I got it off of Magic GG. That's where I got it from. Okay, so let's look at the cards in the deck. We're going to talk a little bit about what the deck should do, and then we'll take it out and we'll crush some hopes and dreams. All right, so what do we got? We got uh, Creature Kill, so it's an exile, right? Here's a Creature Exile. It also takes out artifacts and enchantments, potentially. Ossification gets rid of Planeswalkers or Creatures. So, Exiles. Brutal Cathar Exiles, Creatures. Uh, let's talk about this guy later. This one gets rid of any non-land permanent and exiles it. This one gets any, rid of exiles any non-fox creature. Uh, this one exiles any tapped creature. This exiles all creatures. This exiles, like, everything except for Planeswalkers. All right, so that's it. I mean, it's just exile, 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 exile. What does this guy do? He doesn't exile anything. That's hard to believe, isn't it? But what does he do? He's a, he's a faith-bound judge, defender, defender of flying and vigilance. So he just jumps out there. He's got 4-4. Four, four. And at the beginning of each upkeep, you put a... If he's got two or fewer judgment counters on him, you put a judgment counter on him. And as long as he has three or more, then he can tack as though he didn't have defender. So that means... You put him out, and he defends for a little while. He's a 4-4 four, four flyer. Great, right? Fantastic. And then after a couple turns, that dude can go. He's all like a topiary stomper that way, right? And so you got a, you got essentially a, a flying defender 4-4 four, four that can attack now, too. That means you can attack and block. There's nothing stopping him, and he's space awesome. Now, if he does get killed, as long as he doesn't get exiled, just gets killed, killed, goes to the graveyard. Instead, you could play again, bring it back with Disturb, which costs you 7 well, this deck is delaying like crazy, so seven shouldn't be so bad. And you use a curse that you put on your opponent, and it just says you have to wait. You got to wait till you have, uh, if there are three, each upkeep, you put a counter on the curse. And as long as you have three or more, then that player loses the game. <laughs> yeah, and if, if somebody gets rid of it, this thing goes away forever. So that that's pretty much it. So anyways, that's it. You, you, you wait a little bit. This guy becomes an awesome attacker. If he gets killed, you put him back out. You wait a little bit, and he just wins the game. Just wins it. That's all there is to it. All right, so um, what are we going to do? We are going to try to get to the Faithbound Judge. We're going to go in there and just attack like crazy with him. If he gets killed, super. Once we get up to seven mana, we can put him back out and win the game. What are we going to do after? As while we're trying to do all that? Just killing everything we can, pinning it down. Wiping the board, just the only thing we want to do is we don't want to exile Faithbound Judge. We want this guy to live. 
enough to be killed and put in the graveyard because you need to be able to put them back out as with disturbed. All right, so that's it. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. But before we go out, we're going to say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Dear Black King Talks Roll, sorry for playing mono white, my friend, who dwells in the dark chambers of my heart. I'm sorry for playing mono white. Please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. All right, we'll play against BP8418. BP, BP. What's up, Buck? All right, we've got threes and fours. And Hootie the Owl. Hootie Hootie. Yeah, Hootie was my favorite pet. I mean, really, what was it? We had the cat and then we had Hootie. That was it. Uh, Hootie was my favorite for a long time. I really hated the cat. Hootie, I like his expressive eyes. He made me feel good about myself. Oh, cancel. I'll wait till next turn. No reason to sacrifice something for that, for that specifically. Rook Thar. The thing I hate about Rook Thar is that I feel like then they just kill it and they get their guy back. And it was kind of like a big waste of time. I think it proliferates, right? Dude, I'm just going to Wandering Emperor, that jerk. We're going to Wandering Emperor. Oh, right, what's going on here? I can't attack next turn? Fine. Chew. Let's pump him up. All right, we're cool. I got as a four. I got plenty to take him out. Four. Mm. All right, well, you're just going to get uh, a problem then. Put out another dude. Go all in. Because guess who's going to die next turn? It's Wandering Emperor. Yeah, no blocks. We're cool. Have a good time. Does he have protection? Oh, I guess I don't have protection against it. Dang! Hey, whatever. We're going to get the guy's tap. All right, we're cool. There we go. There's our damage. Can we do enough on the next turn to take everything out? It's two. We could. We could, potentially. Especially if I draw one more mana. OK, 
Can't be blocked. Our card, baby cakes. I'm sorry, Hootie. All right. Here we go. He's got two left. Dang it, how is that continuing to smoke me again and again? I just don't know. I had such a hard time with uh, werewolves there. Snack! Snack! Alright, there we are. That's looking much better. And in we go! Come on in! You can do it, Jeffy Moon. I'm, cl I'm clicking the attack button like a thousand times right now. Go, 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 go! One, two, three, four. That's all he is, right? Yeah, man. I don't I don't care. I'll do that anyway. Just make sure. And we win! Suck it, suckerfish. God darn blue player trying to do everything stupid. I'm playing against Hell Dirk. El Deer Cuh. All right, two mana. Is that enough for us to go? Yeah, I think we'll ball to three. At some point, we well, only needs four to make the whole deck run. At least what we got so far. No pet. I can kill it now. Let's just do it. Gain your three life. Six for that. All right, come on, mana. There we are. I'll flash out on that guy. Put it on him. He's not a fox. Ooh, give it to the wrong person, or the person I don't particularly want you to give it to. I think I have to steal Boulder at this point. Right there. All right, now he's got to get him back down below 20. Devil. I are playing against vampires. He's flooding the board. It might be best. Well, problem is at this point, let's just uh, give some stuff up here.
I can play for well. We just gotta trick him into doing it. Just flooding the board and we can just clear. I guess I need six. I'm only got four. I don't have much of a choice in the matter, do I? All right, here we go. There's five. Let's just leave it. That's funny. All right, so we could pop the Boulder and Thrill Seekers. So let's go after this other one. That one's done at this point. There's nothing he could do. He can go after the, the Wandering Emperor by popping it. He could just done it afterwards after doing three points of damage to me. Still get it, man. All right, here we go. Should I just farewell it at this point? Ah, uh, all artifacts, all creatures, all graveyards, done. All right, so he's, the thing is we both have one card in our hand. Eh, we just got that going on. All right, whatever, man. That's what we're doing. Whatevs. Jump in the pod. Jump in it. All right, we're going to put out a samurai. That'll keep us not quite as dead. You gain some more life out of the deal. Cool. Let's put out an another samurai. All right, got a couple of defenders, a couple of dies, flashing their D. You coming at me, bra? And it's awfully expressive for all we're doing is putting a token on some dude. All right, seal that guy from existence. Still trying to get him under 20. What do we got? Four, five, six, seven. We got enough to pop the Faith Bound Judge if he ever gets killed. Are we in wolf mode again? Sweet googly, there we go. Sweet googly moogly. Sweet googly moogly. I have been against the Batman. That's exactly what Batman looks like. No one ever recognizes him with those gigantic arms. What I really like about this deck is the way that Faith Bed Bound Judge is such a huge part of it. Usually he's kind of slow. This deck, you got the time to really develop it. All right, number two. This guy's just a one, right? No, he's two. Oh, I'll spy him. 
Mom, 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 mom. That guy's a cockroach. He's a cockroach. What is it with people not playing pets nowadays? I don't understand it. There's a lot of buttons I needed just to tell that thing to kill that guy. And this is what happens when you play Exile all the time. People get pissed. Victory! All right, we're playing against Pikush. 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 Two mana. I'm not a big fan of two mana. Flashing your golden fish at me. Suck it. Hey, Cuber, you want some uh, energy cubes there? There you go, my friend. We got playing mono blue. Not a fan. All right, he doesn't have any instants. That's crazy. Now, the funny part is these are both exiles. I don't necessarily want to exile things right now. Let's try this again. Still nothing. Simic. I can only go after creatures with the Brutal Cathar. Walk. Ooh, I can attack. I attacked with a dude. Flying and Vigilant 4-4s four are pretty badass. They're freaking angels, practically, but they're just spirit soldiers, huh? You gonna counter me there? All right, down to 12. Once he puts it out as a dude, I can always Brutal Cathar it. Right, here we go. Uh huh. That's three, two. Now what? That's hexproof. That's not indestructible. He's not indestructible. All right, but he does have hexproof. Let's just put out the other uh, faith-bound judge. Alright, we got 12 coming down on him next turn. He can only block one, which is a minimum of eight. I'm sure he's kind of peeing his pants a little bit right now. <laughs> you only got two mana. You attack by yourself, I can't block it. You get in and do actually three points of damage and draw another card. <coughs> I guess your whole point is just draw as many cards as you can. But you need him as a defender.
I don't know what you can do with two mana, man. Sure, can I? I don't care. He's even tapped. All right, going in. No math. I see. So the big problem here is that one guy's still just a regular defender. He's phasing it out. Eyes down to three. Can he turn this game around? I don't think so. I mean, he's got lots of mana. I. Right, what are you going to do, man? All right, so I'm definitely going to take some damage. He's going to draw some cards. But he's using up all of his mana to be able to put those effects into place. You have two more mana. What are you going to do? You're going to phase my guy out again? All right, and here we go. I took four points. And he's got three cards, but no mana available to him. Just to be mean. And we win. And he sinks it in to the hole with one shot. Victory! I are playing against Iromi Total Fark. Ooh, it's the evil ladies. Or ladies like to hang out in black a lot. They're goth chicks. One. Roar. Two. All right, we're playing against uh, Zorius Angels. Is that what we're seeing here? Ooh, interesting. We can both put his defenders down. What does he need for that? He needs to pay two mana, so that guy's not going anywhere. My guy's not going anywhere. We got some time. I'd like to wear Fox out that guy. Wear Fox is pretty good. Cause he's got flash. And of course you can sacrifice him. He's like a it's like a cookie because he's so delicious. Alright, we can wandering emperor if we need to. He's got we just gotta throw some now. It's probably gonna be a land would be my guess. I wish I was something I could do with the fire over here. I mean, it's nice that it's moving around. But, you know, everything else has something kind of going on. What I think is weird is that there's something in each corner. There's two things in this corner. Nothing down here. I've never been able to figure that one out. Doesn't look like there's anything.
He drew a card. Uh, all right. I, mean, I guess I could have taken out the defender. Oh, that's who I was waiting for. <laughs> I was just so excited to have something to do. This guy's kind of boring me right now. I am bored. Uh, I got plenty of this going around. I should probably take out Scooby-Doo and his funky bunch. <sighs> All right, down to 23. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to sunfall at some point here. Get another angel. Done. It's like, I think I almost want to kill off my own bodyguard just so I can get that guy back out and play. So that way I can sunfall the whole mix. And I would like to have his Steel Seraph kill my Faithbound Judge. Well, that's not cool, man. Keep the bodyguard out there just so we can potentially use it as a blocker. Yeah, see, that's what I want is I got to come back there. I got seven. Just a matter of time. All right, past the blockers. I got seven. I should have enough to do a lot of stuff there. One blocker assigned. Let's go ahead and sacrifice it. Yep. All right, good. My turn. And we're good. He's got four cards in his hand. He could just start building it back up again. All right, I'm going to go for this guy. We spend our, our time in there. All right, is he going to block? I doubt it. He's got 24. I mean, I could have to hit him like, what, four times to be able to kill him? All right, so Sunfall is probably going to be our biggest friend. We just have to delay, 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 and hope he can't take out the Sinner's Judgment.
You can't take out planeswalkers with March of Otherworldly Light. That's one of the things that sucks about them. You can take out artifacts, creatures, enchantments, but not planeswalkers. All right, there's one. And we're done. We can take, we can bodyguard in to bodyguard us. As long as you can't take out Sinner's Judgment, I think we got this game. What are you gonna give it? Yeah, we're gonna smoke this guy. Whoop whoop. And we win! Suck it, sucker fish! Victory! All right, we're playing with our mono white exile deck and uh we end up getting a hundred percent hundred percent wins off of this thing um yeah yeah it was fantastic that way i i don't think it's as good as a deck as it ended up you know being played but i think we were just lucky on uh who we got matched up against and i also think we're lucky because the 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 was it the card shuffler didn't screw us over with like no lands or all lands or anything but this this deck's pretty decent that way. It doesn't really need a lot. Sure, we got things that cost you six. Uh, it's not very money. It's not very many. I mean, the, the two big ones are the board wipes, Sunfall and Farewell. It costs you five and six to be able to play. But you don't really need those. There are times it's really nice to wipe the board. Man, it is just amazing how people start. Yeah, you flood the board, flood the board, flood the board, and just takes one good board wipe, and they're completely screwed. Completely screwed. All right, so let's uh, let's see who was the MVP, who was the most valuable player of this particular deck. Taking a look at what we got there. Uh, I think it was Faithbound Judge was our MVP. That was the card I was always looking forward to. I really loved it. I like Faithbound Judge quite a bit, but he always feels slow. People always seem to have an answer for him. Um, right now in the meta, that does not appear to be the case. The good thing is that as long as they're not exiling Faithbound Judge... He gets killed, and you just have to play seven to be able to put him back out as an enchantment. People really can't handle enchantments right now. It's not something people are big on getting rid of. So, um, yeah, usually you're free to let that guy grow. It only takes like three turns after that for you to actually get something. It takes a while. It takes time. But this deck is about delaying. So this is very anti-aggro, in my opinion, um, just because it is you are slow. This is a full-on control deck. And... Uh, yeah, but it, it does a good job doing what it does. Faithbound Judge, you are my MVP, my most valuable player. You're going to Disneyland. All right, so let's see. Was this deck competitive? I, I picked it up off of Magic GG's Platinum Mythic list. And uh, I, like I said, I ended up picking up 100% with this thing. It seemed to do better on the ranked ladder because the people who are playing over there are used to a more aggressive meta. And... Uh, when I was playing in the, the main play, yeah, there was a lot more control going on. And so it wasn't as much going on over there. But yeah, on the rank, this thing was just ripping people apart. So yeah, this is 100% a competitive deck. Does an incredibly good job. I would highly recommend it. Number two, was this deck fun? Okay, here's my deal. I don't normally think control decks are fun. I get really bored with them. Um, I, there was a time I remember I was playing this deck and I had like a bunch of wear foxes in my hand. I couldn't play them because the other person wasn't playing anything else. That was the thing. If you're playing against control, they don't have other creatures. It's like, what am I supposed to take out? Nothing, right? Nothing. So um, Faithbound Judges ended up being my favorite because they didn't care, right? They just they just get out there and do their thing. You just you just buy them some time to grow and show, and they get out there and start slamming people around. Because I can tell you, flying four fours with vigilance are fantastic. 
And especially if they die and you have extra mana to turn them into killing machines. Yeah, that's even better. So, um, yeah, I mean, it. I ended up having a good time with this deck. I had a good time a lot. There was a few times I felt like it didn't do anything. And I always feel bad for other people when all you do is pin down their creatures, ossify, exiling them, wiping the board. That just feels so lame sometimes. Yet, I don't know, I kind of felt like I was fighting. Kind of felt like I was having a good time. So I'm going to say, yeah, I did have a good time. I did think this was a fun deck. Number three, was this deck interesting? Um, you know why I think it was interesting? It was because the way that it focused on Faithbound Judge to do what it needed to do. It's like, I really didn't care about the rest of it. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, everything else was pinning everything else done down. And I had a few creatures being popped around by Brutal Cathar and, and Werewolf and Wandering Emperor putting out a samurai every once in a while. But really, it was all about Faithbound Judge. It was about getting those guys out, giving them what they need, getting them killed, and then bringing them back when you had seven, which put everybody on the clock. And people could not handle it. It was fantastic that way. If anything, this was a Faithbound Judge deck. And I mean, there are four in here. We had no card draw, but I didn't have really a problem with getting to them. It really wasn't that big of a deal. So um, was it interesting? I got to say, yeah, I thought it was interesting just because it was so much control and just really one good card that you needed to have time to develop. And this deck did it. It was a nice synergy and everything worked well. All right, so let's add that up. Is this deck competitive? Yes. Is this deck fun? Yes. Was it interesting? Yes, which means this is an A-plus deck. And as I'm required by federal law to say, this deck is so choice, I would highly recommend you pick one up, should you have the means. That is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great great day. In the words of my people, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later.